Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I'm here reading from Matthew chapter 24. So this is a long discussion in many different videos about chapter 24 uh, from Matthew where Christ discusses the, the second coming and uh, the process that we're all going through right now. So I've done my best to add what little I know about how things are going and perhaps provide a greater um, uh, window of, of opportunity for interpreting these words. Of course, there's many different opportunities and many different interpretations and it's up to each individual to pick the one that suits and resonates with them most at the moment. And so, on that note, I'll just start with the first two verses. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. So this is the first verse. So Jesus was in the temple talking. Actually, in the prior chapter, he was talking to the scribes and Pharisees and telling them, what incredible hypocrites there were, but that's a whole separate story. So, so he went. It's no wonder that they were all upset, isn't it? So he went out in, from the temple, and his disciples came to show him the buildings of the temple. So apparently, there were quite a few buildings involved. It was probably like a little complex, a spiritual complex, and maybe the center and the heartbeat of that community. And the the disciples were apparently very proud of these buildings, right? So uh, you might consider that what, what was going on here is that Christ was talking to the main religion of his area at his time, and as a, uh, a teacher of higher truth, he was trying to explain that appearances were not everything, that the important thing is what's in our hearts and whether we really desire to serve God, right? And, and this upsets people who are like... Um, uh, caught up in in social structures, it's the spirit has some conflict with the um, with the um, you could say psychic bonding, the tribal bonding of people, um, because the spirit leads our hearts up to God and down into the, the very center of things and matter on earth, the very center of earth. It doesn't spread itself out really into social bonding because the first fractal of truth created through aff affinity with spirit is the pranic column energy, the energy of, of our own hearts reaching up to God, right to heaven, and our own hearts reaching down to the very center of earth, connecting spirit with matter. That's our main, like, that's our main function as mirrors of, of, of God, okay? And secondarily, first is to love the Lord your God with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul, like that. The second is to love your neighbor as yourself, all right? So what that means is a, a very basic understanding of the fractal nature of reality. We create this image, this alignment of ourselves with God. Okay, We feel our relationship to God, and other people start replicating that. We love our neighbors as, um, as a fractal that aligns with God. All right, so the breakdown, the degradation of relationships that has occurred during the Dark Age, during these many ages when we have felt so separate from God and when soul wounding has occurred, the, the degradation is to align ourselves with the world, of, with what we see in the world of matter, rather than to align ourselves with our own spirits, okay? So Christ walked into the temple where this degradation of alignment had occurred, where people were looking to each other for greater self-esteem by pretending to be higher than other people. 
He walked into the temple and he said, you hypocrites, he has so many bad things to say. He said, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? How could they take this? Then he says, wherefore, sorry, I'm off topic. <laughs> wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, that would be Christ in this case, and wise men and scribes. And some of them ye shall kill and crucify. Now who would this be? Christ himself, right? And some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Such as the apostles, right? Afterwards, after Christ passed on. So, so we don't have to take this like literally that we're going to be crucified and scourged and so forth. But, but the thing of it is that as the ascension process uh, continues, the, there will be much scourging and torturing and crucifying of people that represent Christ because because the fractal is different. Our fractal is very different. We align with God. We align with Christ. We align with Christ consciousness. We don't do that. I need you, somebody else. You know, we don't do that. I need your money thing. We don't do. Uh, we just don't. We don't do. I, I, I look up to you because you're higher. No, we are that higher self, okay? We are that source of abundance. We are, we are that image of Christ himself. We are that. Why, why should we look a field? Why should we look to how other people think of us, you know? And so, and so what of these temples of earth, these, as in chapter 24 verse 1. What of these temples of earth? What of these buildings of stone? What do they really mean? Okay. They mean, they meant to Christ and they mean to me. This is how I feel about it. They meant to Christ and they mean to me the, the snagging of consciousness on the material world, the turning away from God and to turning of the consciousness to stone. Okay, this applies to all the religions in some some degree or another. Every church that has a that has a building has this snagging or solidification of consciousness, and is that against which Christ railed? Okay, he wanted the free flow of beingness in God, and and so here in chapter twenty four verse two he describes that. He says. He's looking at the beautiful temple buildings. And he says, And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Did he mean that the temple was going to be destroyed? No. He meant that the structure of our thought in religious groups is going to change to such an extent that we won't be able to recognize it anymore. The solidity of our beliefs in religion are going to go away during the ascension process. During the end times, the temples will be torn down. Okay, So why hold on to group consciousness when we can, in the magnificence and beauty of our own souls, align with God himself? Okay, so the first message is probably the hardest one to take, and in another video I'll go on with this chapter. God bless you all in faith and consciousness of Christ. Love you lots.